gum that will dissolve in water. So they screen or they spray or they apply a layer of dissolving gum to the top of the um, paper. Then they take china paint and they silk screen the china paint like you would silk screen a t-shirt onto this paper with the layer of gum between the, the china paint and the um, paper. Uh, then over the top, they silk screen a layer of like acrylic or um, they call it cover coat. And the cover coat helps hold the um, silk screen china paint together when the gum dissolves. So paper, gum, silk screen china paint, cover coat. Um, I'll take one of these awful things into sort of any hobby ceramic store and you can buy these and generally you will find a box of like unloved cheap ones in the back because who in their right mind is gonna like um, make a coffee mug that they try to sell with like a little tennis failing <laughs> tennis guy so I'm gonna take this and I'm going to soak it in water really depends on an old decal like this uh, it's ready for the image to slide off and so I'm waiting for the gum layer to dissolve and the gum layer is going to dissolve and it's going to release the silk screened layer and the top plasticky layer and then I'm going to slide that onto my piece so do you have some like Jeremy Brooks mayhem uh, from a demo like no, I don't. It was here. when we were at the clay studio. Mm. These, some, these decals, are, some of these are really old. Some are from China, but like tons and tons before. Yeah, these, this may be yeah. just a little too ancient to slide off. Well, we'll keep soaking. Well, know, toxic at medium, and it's not stinky. It's not awful. Gold, however, um, is real gold uh, and some other things suspended in um, like really nasty um, like alcohol, mineral, spirit, uh, solvent. It has to be sort of suspended in a solvent and it is toxic and awful when you brush it on and you should always be around ventilation. One of the great things though is that they can silk screen that um, gold luster onto decal paper and you can work with it in a completely non-toxic dry manner. Do you want to bring in that posy piece that has the... Applying a decal, I'm gonna slide the paper out from under. Temporary tattoo have sticker. <laughs> yeah, I guess I, I, I never really thought about temporary tattoos. Um, um, all like the temporary, temporary tattoos, tattoos are sticker. just sort of on a backing, but they're made yeah. in the same way. There's a layer of gum that is letting that temporary tattoo layer transfer, transfer yeah. onto your skin. Um, so with the decal, I'm going to use a little bit of a paper towel, and I'm just going to kind of get some of the bubbles mm -hmm. out of it. Any bubbles um, where the decal is not in contact with the ceramic underneath will fire away. So you want to get all of the bubbles out unless you want that surface. It's not very interesting, but I will send this around as well. And I want to stress that... Um, unless you buy this stuff because it's really expensive. This is like really Gold kind of luster is like for you guys for but it gives right. you stuff that you could do yeah. in spark two three four but like i mean you could do this kind of stuff you just have to like buy some of these expensive mm -hmm. things to test it yeah. but it's nice that you've got like a little 